fine. <laughs> I was just eating a rice cracker forever. How? What is my intro? Hi, fancy meeting you here in this little old place. I'm Tish, and this is Echo Echo. These puppies, the biggest bunch of whingers you will ever meet. They are crazy for dogs. All right, so I have going, everybody. I have been sick as a dog. Um, not my dog. My dogs are well. I've been sick as a sick dog. Well, I suppose I could say I'm sick as a sick person. I've been sick. <laughs> you might hear it when I cough. It, I'm 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 on the up and up though, because I've left the bedroom. I've been kind of hibernating for the last two days. Uh, yeah. So here we are, another and I am alone video. I have got a Dracula video that um is nearly ready to go. So that's my main thing on the channel. But uh, you know, uh, misery and I we um we like it. Yeah, so we are back with another anti-MLM video, and today, today, oh, we have looked at her before, recently I think I did a video on her, um, now I can't remember, but I have covered Courtney Shortney before, or Courtney Shepherd Alexander, um, she is supposedly Jessie Lee Ward's best friend, she became Jessie Lee Ward's best friend because, uh, she developed a parasocial re relationship with her and uh, stalked her on the internet until she made it into the inner circle and then was the most enabling yes man person, yes person in the world and worked her way up to be her best friend. Um, I'd probably say also you could say servant, maid. Um, just silly kind of thinks that her children are hers, so, you know, surrogate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Jessie Lee has been pretty gross of late. She was getting interviewed on a podcast that she didn't realise was an anti-MLM podcast. And meanwhile, it's so funny, all of her comments, her her fans, her stands, were saying, oh, that, that lady didn't do her research on you, have a new one. <laughs> no, actually it was the opposite way around. She knew exactly who Jessie Lee was. And Jessie Lee just saw that, she got millions of views. She saw how popular the podcast was and she didn't look any further because she's like, oh, I'm going to get on this good podcast. Uh, and when and when Jane said, Erin B's, I talked to Erin B's. Oh, damn. Oh, that was, it was, she has kids. Yeah, so um, she's coming off that. And also, supposedly, there are lots of big teams leaving underneath Jessie Lee. I know, I think some are going to Q Sciences, or maybe they're all going to Q Sciences. And, uh, yeah, and now Savannah Marie has just um, uh, shared a photo of Jessie Lee offering a free webinar of training and how to recruit. Um, honey, did you not already have years of free education, right, from your podcast and your YouTube channel, your Instagram, TikTok, etc.? And then you introduced the accelerator because you were like, I'm not getting, I'm, I'm going to get my bag for coaching because she already did it for so many years for free. Now you're going back to free? It seems a little bit desperate, you know? Uh, also, you have cancer. Take a fucking break. Take a day off. Maybe she can't afford to, you know? Uh, yeah, so Courtney Shortney has been co-signing off of all of her. Ah! Damn, can I swear yet? Bull crappery. And, you know, I think it is a duty and an honour to call it out. Uh, I don't feel bad calling out the scams of a person with cancer. A person with cancer who scam people is still scamming them. In fact, there's a lot of people with cancer who have been... Um, this is not a lot, sorry. There's a few high-profile cases of people who have used that sort of shame. Like, you can't shame a cancer patient and um done very deceptive things so uh i don't think the deception which Jesse Lee exists in the disease i i believe he has cancer but i think there is um deception dishonesty and scamming in the way that she talks about her treatments and as a person of influence she doesn't have that um she doesn't have a duty of care to she doesn't see her duty of care to her audience she leaves them 
high and dry. You know, like she says, I'm doing this and it's working even if it's not or she doesn't know for sure that it is because she's she says outrageous statements like, okay, oh, I know that the uh, the the cancer doesn't like turmeric. Has it got a dating profile? How the fuck do you know if it likes turmeric or not? Like that's not something that people could actually measure. Like that's so dumb. Anyway, um, Courtney, her, she does. Oh, I think I think it's on like follow. Um, Courtney just co-signs it. She's fine with it. She doesn't say anything. She doesn't you know put her foot down or anything like that. So. Um, now, this was, I have seen most of this, I think. DC, thank you, DC. Um, can we just, I think, okay, we have to do a bit of a vote. Who's the best person that I know today? Probably DC, yeah. Look, I'm sorry, Clown Town, I'm sorry, but I think, you, I think you'd agree. You'd put DC over me. DC is a stealth human, and she has been covering Jesse Lee. With empathy, with kindness, but still not letting her get away with anything. Um, having cancer doesn't give you a free license to be a, a dirtbag, you know? Um, yeah. So, we're going to watch this. Courtney said she wasn't going to save it, and thankfully, we got you covered, Court. Can I call you Court? Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a look at this. I was really, I remember, I was like, the whole time because I was infuriated. Uh, there's a couple of different things that happen. There might be some kids, there might not be. Um, but it was like night and day in how she sort of portrayed herself and what she was doing. Uh, yeah, so. Hello, 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 by the way. She just said, hello, 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 by the way. Like, take a breath in between that one, honey, honey. I just, I, why did, she just went straight into talking. It's weird. Hello, 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 by the way. If you guys are, I think, I don't, I think sometimes you guys can hear me before it shows me that you guys are here. So, um, I will not be saving this live. Okay. I'm coming on here to let you guys know that, um, Wah, 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 wooey. I'm coming on here to let you guys know that I have an exclusive offer for you guys to actually learn um, more about what I do. So if you guys want that, can you drop me in the comments right now? Exclusive? What? Exclusive? Because I'm going to get send you a link privately if you guys want access. That's literally the only reason I'm live right now is to, get, um, to invite you guys to learn more about what I do. There's no pressure to be on um, to join us. You're not wasting anyone's time. A call is happening with or without. Courtney. That's not true. You're wasting their time if they get on the call. Okay. Come on now. So if you're sitting there and you're like, look, I want an inside look on the Empire. I want to know what y'all are about. Um, exclusive offer because uh, not everyone gets the opportunity to invite you to learn not only actually there won't be anybody else teaching you um but for me to invite you and to for you to hear from jesse lee yeah you, you can't get jesse lee anywhere else oh except for her years of podcast i cleaned up behind me so the dogs have a bed again they're very happy about that um yeah so uh, years of her podcast her YouTube channel, her speeches, not just her podcast, but the podcast um, podcast she's been on, um, Prove It Events, The Empire You, uh, her TikTok, her Instagram, her Facebook, her especially like her live videos, at Joyful Kitchen. Um, excuse me. How did it even happen? How did you get that wig? Where did you get the wig cap from? Okay, we got Miss Chicken Nugget. Chicken Nugget. Um, she is cute. Look at her. She's get she's getting a bit more feisty. All right, she's getting a bit more feisty. So Miss Chicken Nugget, for some reason, just had a wig cup, wig cap, stuck in her teeth. <laughs> oh no! Here's Lizzo. We'll see how long she stays here before she's the kissy one. 
Go nap, 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 nap. You're gonna lick the... Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, whoops. Um, I think the point I'm trying to make there is that uh, our training from Jesse Lee Ward is not exclusive. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So you'll get to hear from Jesse Lee exclusively about the Empire and why we are so unique. So I'm actually going to be inviting more people on here, but that is the reason that I'm live. So if you guys are like, yes, get me on the call, Courtney, you have not messaged me yet. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Um, just let me know because I... Uh, um, Because um, I haven't been able to message everyone. I've been on calls nonstop today. And really? Um, and you have to get on a Zoom call now. Seems like a lot of work. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of time freedom. Also, um, why do you keep losing track of what you're saying? Don't, don't ketones give you concentration? Or aren't they supposed to? Um, and I had sent out some messages last night, um, and I sent out some this morning, and I sent out some in between, but I've not touched nearly half of the people, not even not even 10% of the people that I want to invite to this call. So um, I have, and this is so strange to say because I don't usually do this, the call will max out. So um, it, it really will. I believe I still have space for, yeah, Tracy, for sure. Um, I believe I still have space to fit um just because I'm going to get more people on there sooner than the others. So I could probably get at least 20 people that want to get on there. Um, but we were told to get at least 10. So um, I think from that 10, I already have, uh, I, I've already got 10 that are coming on. So um, let me get it to you, Tracy, really fast. Uh, are they already in Prove It? Because if you know these people by first name and stuff, by now you don't have really much of a circle outside the company, I'm sure of it. Um, <laughs> it's going to max out. Uh, did anyone actually, if anyone knows whether it maxed out, let me know. So if you guys want an invite, um, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? <laughs> it's going to start in 45 minutes. I know that I didn't say that. It's starting at six central. Um, where's the link? I had it saved and now it's not saved in my anymore so i'm like where'd you go <laughs> where'd you go oh wait here I think. concentration key ketones are we familiar <laughs> what the fuck are we doing what are you doing why are we here what i'm scrolling through a chat because i really am trying to find Maybe you should have worked it out before you fucking pressed the live button, maybe. Jesus. This is really annoying. <laughs> I'm trying to find where I put... It's okay, I can just type it up. It's not right? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is All a bunch right. of all right so for those of you guys just jumping in i am in, not sorry empire not everyone has this opportunity um sorry empire not every what shouldn't empire people automatically get training from jesse lee that seems pretty shitty if they don't also uh imagine you joined this live late and you're just watching her sit there and not say anything god damn it me um i can't just send you a message straight from here hang on tracy yeah tracy's real desperate not everyone in the empire has this opportunity so i have an exclusive offer for you guys to learn more about what we do who the empire is from jesse lee herself the number one network marketer this seems like um i don't know it, it does seem like cult leader tactics, like you can only get in to see the leader if you're doing this particular thing. But then I'm confused because she's like, I'm going, this is only like, it's not available to all empire people, but we're going to tell you about what we do in the empire. Well, don't they already know? What the fuck? Confusing as shit. Um, so this is huge because 
She is very selective on the time and energy that she is giving. Um, neck on the time and energy that she is giving just because you know she needs to be selective of where she spends her energy um and so doing this opportunity called a woman who has been doing three coffee enemas and juicing for three hours a day and i don't mean taking steroids i mean she is making juice from vegetables for hours on a time at in the day She's real worried where her energy is being spent. Okay. Well, I'm really, really excited about it. you're just going to get an inside look from her perspective on who we are and what we do um, and how you can be a part of it. And you're under no obligation to join. It's just a, a free information Zoom. So is it for Empire people or not? Nope. Whatever. Okay. I think I can paste this over here. Running! <laughs> I'm so fucking frustrated right now. Where's the fucking link? I forgot. I like maybe I didn't see the beginning of this. I am so annoyed at this. Oh my god. And I will check back in with you um, afterwards to 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 see what your thoughts are. You know. Ah. Mm. Okay, Tracy. Yeah, because you want to try and recruit them. I'm so excited, Tracy. I'm glad you popped on because you're definitely someone I want to make sure that I get this into. Hey, Courtney, you're you're in you're in a live video right now. Yeah, I'm live right now. Oh, she does know. I love you. Yep. Yeah. Um, I have a theory about her saying "I love you." Uh, she says it because. It, she probably does love the person, don't get me wrong. But it's for show. Um, she's just, it's its for us to see her. Like, I always tell the people in my life that I love them. Okay. You know. Um, I can't remember what she said is her love language, but she just, it, it is just for her. Say, I love you. Because she knows that that's what people think a loving relationship is. It's not... It's almost borders on psychopathic sort of behavior. I'm not diagnosing her. I'm just saying that psychopaths uh, imitate human behavior because they don't actually feel the emotions. So a psychopath would say, oh, I love you, because they know that that's how people communicate that they love somebody. You know, I hope that makes sense. But I think it's for show for the five people that are on this live. He's going to come in here and bust on the doors. And it's only going to be like, I mean, at most 20 minutes. That's it. Um, and if you guys have further questions, you can also, you can have them ready. You could drop them in the chat too. Why well, want to go backwards? Oh, no. I can't. Oh, no. How do I just go swipe out? Okay, cool. Just, just swipe out. <laughs> okay, let me go back here. Do you guys have any questions for me now? <laughs> Courtney Fan Club here. You're so funny. I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Hey, Joanna. So if you guys are not already on the Empire and would like the exclusive invite, Tracy got hers. She would like to see the cow. Um, and you guys would like an opportunity to be on the call. If you cannot be on at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is in 38 minutes. Yeah. Um, that's okay. I will, I'm will. i going to do another one. Um, I don't know if there's too many of you that would want one later on tonight or not, but I'm open to doing that for sure. Um, but I will, I'm going to be doing one again tomorrow at 6 p.m. as well. Oh, good. Yeah, real exclusive. We're just doing it every day. Every day. To this exclusive training. Right. Mm hmm So good. And is this one with Jesse Lee or what? Yes. I'm like, is that going to make sense? Yeah, I think 6 p.m. tomorrow makes sense for me. Your day just got 100 times better seeing me live? Oh, my gosh. Hey, Aslan. How are you? Too much. That, that's just like... Dang it. You got a voice message me, girl. So I 
I don't, I'm not buying it, Courtney. Like, that just came out of nowhere. I don't know how to say your name correctly. The pill trick, trick worked and it was easy. Go Valora, go Valora. Oh, oh, good morning 2.0. Good to see me again. I know, you too, darling. Yuck, that is Jesse Lee right there. Am I trying turning it off and on again? Apparently <laughs> that's the go. It was like literally I had searched in my inbox for Tracy's name and then it... Um... No, please, for the love of... For the uh, love and then it like of... wouldn't... For the love of everything, don't tell us your process now. We are eight. No, we're nearly ten minutes into this fucking call. Oh, my God. Frustrating. It's so weird because it's like it wouldn't pull her up. And so then it was like showed it below it and it was messed up. So this is a um, call for people in Jesse Lee's front line to invite their leads to. And I have been running my own calls as well for me to invite leads to and for my personal organization to invite their leads to as well. And just to share more about the empire and what we do and let them open, um, I open it up for questions if, if they have any. I'm also now launching new business partners with these opportunity calls so that they can invite people that they trust and people that they value their opinions and people that always support them and everything that they do into a call so they don't have to do it alone. They don't have to know everything. They can just be like, look, get on this call. Just learn more from the person that I learn how to, or that I built a relationship that I trust that I, cause like that, like people don't join me unless they trust me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just, you know, have people share. People don't join you who don't trust that you're not lying to them about the opportunity. They join you because you sell a certain level of professionalism, training, all that sort of stuff. And what they get in return are erratic lives where you can't find a link for 10 minutes to the thing you're trying to get people to go to less than an hour before it's actually on good work good work on that one courtney from their hearts um to invite people to this call this call is not going to be saved it's just a way for me um i will come back on here and do a uh, actually tonight is uh, i'm going to share with you guys more about ketones and if you guys have any trials that you want to grab um there is the link in my bio so you guys can customize your trials i will be packing I'm not packing those first. I'll probably have to come back on and pack the trials live. Um, but I am doing a live on the product tonight. Why? Why? Why all these endless lives? What's the end? Like, are they really worth it? Is, are you getting a lot of signups and business from it? Because you're basically just live all of the time. The, the people who are in your life don't get to see you because you're live. And you order them out of the room. And why do we have to pack tr pack the trials live? I understand the concept of trials because that's how you get your product out there. Why does it have to be live? Why? Mm. I hate it. Okay, so. Courtney, you're on live video. Courtney. You're live at the moment. So the call will max out at like a thousand people and it's just Elise Frontline that's getting to invite leads to it. So it's like, there's not many opportunities. No, there's not many spaces available. He already said that. Like if every single one of us get 10 people, they won't all be able to get on the call. But I know that if I get, I'm going to get more than 10 because I already have 10 <laughs> and, um, and if we just get on there before everybody else, then they won't get in the call and you will. So if you guys want to get in the call, um, also, um, so they have to get there early as well. So they have to commit more time so that you can be fulfilling this competitive thing you're trying to do right now. 6 p.m. Oh. I love social media. It's really not easy working on social media. I just went and like, I was super emotional, just full of gratitude. I'm just going to do some of these. I've never gotten Botox. I just really want to do these facial massages, face yoga, and just really like, stretch. Oh, the pause game. I apologize. But um, she was just about to talk about something other than herself, but then she caught sight of herself and was like, oh, I'm going to take the 
I'm going to take it back to me. Stretch, stretch. <laughs> uh -huh. So that I don't have them. Doesn't key isn't ketones keeps you youthful? Surely that's one of the things they pretend it can do. <laughs> but anyway, I just got this message from a friend, and she says you're the most amazing mom wife friend. So she got on social media and was quiet for about a minute on the video where she's live. And now she's going to read out a comment about herself. Okay. A mentor to so many. Life throws us so many curveballs and I'm trying to pick myself up now from striking out. Thank you for being so real, caring about others. You are a rare gem. We'll get back on track. I just needed time to just be a mom for a bit. You inspire me every day to push through and that I can do it all. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I had to send you the voice message just so you knew that. Mm -hmm. It really means a lot that you shared that with me. Thank you. Normally I would have said her name, but I didn't want to share that because um, I just read her message. Oh, Jasmine, I'm so grateful for you. Seriously, I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for always giving your love as well. And I just want to remind you guys, you just did your second episode of Chores with Jen. I love it. Yeah, girl, like how many, can I ask you a question, guys? This is this is for Jen's awareness, okay, and for mine as well, and for the other people on here that just need that wake-up call. How many of y'all will get sucked into watching a video that is a time-lapse of someone else cleaning, folding, rearranging, organizing? It could even be an ASMR of it. And I'm just like, what's going to happen next? How are they going to clean that? What's going to happen? So even people that don't like to do the activity of organization or cleaning will still watch those videos. Yeah, great. Um that's content. That's the algorithm giving you what you want to see. Why are we talking about it? Oh, she's going to say, you shouldn't be doing that. Maybe. I can't remember. I'm sucked in all the time. I love it. Your forehead wrinkles were noticeable in high school. I know this because I was in theater. <laughs> I was in theater as an elderly person. Oh. <laughs> and they did facial. <laughs> I see what you meant. I was like, what do you mean? In like you were acting now. Cecilia. See, Cecilia does. Anybody else? Anybody else watch that ish? I'm so proud of you, Jen. You're doing a great job. I feel like you sent me a message on Instagram. I haven't. I saw like a pop up. You feel like it? Maybe it went into my hidden folder. That's why I couldn't find it. I was like, I don't That's see it. That's not really. A, it's not a feeling, love. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing! Exclamation point. Jesse Lee will actually be leading the call, so that doesn't happen these days. Exclamation point. Why? Meaning this is so exclusive. Oh really? Because um. I'm just getting something. I'll, I'll show you in a minute, okay? So this was from a couple of years, uh, like maybe a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks. Courtney I was from a few weeks ago. And then, um, come on, picture. Oh, whoops. Oh, would you look at that? A free, free training webinar tomorrow. July 19th at 8 p.m. EST. You must register here. The free training will be on recruitment. I can't wait. Jesse Lee is a boss. Drop your initials once you are registered. Who is excited? So she doesn't do it? Is that what you're saying, Courtney? Is that what you're saying? She doesn't do it? She's doing it now. July 19th. Well, it's 19th for me, but you know. Do you see my clip? Here's a sausage. Oop. I might turn it into brush, so. Look at these little nose. Yeah, don't look at my hair. Where'd my hair go? <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for you to be there. Oh no, you're in a live video. That's, I feel like it's when I when I snooze and I fall asleep and I'm like, Tish, wake up, wake up, you fell asleep. 
That's what I say to myself. Okay, so the call really won't be long. If there's anyone else who's jumping on that wants it, that wants in, just drop me and I will send you the message right now. If you are not a part of the empire and you want to be on this call, I got you. Oh, yay. Courtney's got us. She might have us. Hey, well, I was just thinking about you. We actually have a call. And don't, um, just don't go ahead of her on an escalator is all I'm saying. Just make her go first and securely hi hi She's got to be bear hugging her bag because she don't care. She'll throw it at you, even if you're a child. But she will warn you to get out of the way of it. About 30 minutes, and um, I know how much you are loving the ketones. And honestly, I just adore you so much. I really do. And I would love for you to just. She's sending a voice note at the moment. This is tacky you know like it just doesn't feel very nice to be it's like it, it really is like looking behind the curtain and seeing the wizard because yeah this is icky well i wanted to invite you in because i've already told you how i feel about you but <laughs> i'm telling you again i'm telling you again and uh if you have wondered what an inside look of the opportunity of the empire really looks like um, this would be a great call to get on. I actually have the, not everybody has this offer, but I'm able to invite. You invite people to see Jesse Lee talk. That is not exclusive at all. Anyway, can you imagine? This is your, like, she is your point of call for network marketing. Like she, you know, look, looking at how she runs her life and you know, according to social media, I don't, I'm not with her 24 hours a day, but the chaos that seems to reign, it doesn't seem like it's, it's an attraction marketing. I don't feel that it is, she thinks it's flexing, having this great family and so on, but um, yeah. People to a call that's being led by Jesse Lee. So it is in 30 minutes, 30 minutes. This girl is so freaking cute. So impersonal um, because she's been saying stuff like this the whole time. I imagine also, and I can't, I can't remember everything we were talking about when we were watching this on DC's channel, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the assumption that Jesse Lee told them, you have to get this many people on. You have to, or I will not be um, coming onto the call. Seriously. I'm like, listen. We just vibe. We just vibe. I don't just mean her looks are cute. I mean, like, her energy is the best. She always feels so good to be around. And if y'all aren't sending voice message to invite people to this opportunity, it's not a script. It ain't no script. I'm just telling people how I feel about them from my whole heart. And you know what's really crazy is that some people, I think, are already in the Empire. And they're not. And then eventually I realize, realize it. And I'm like, how have I never invited this person? <laughs> So if that's you, if you're not in the Empire and you're sitting there like, why isn't Courtney inviting me? Just remind me that you're not in the Empire. <laughs> it's like I connect with them so well. I'm like, of course you're already in the Empire. What did I miss about Jen? Does she do cleaning time lapses? She said to me, she's... I was thinking um, some people are... When she said some people are in the, in the Empire, but they're not. I was thinking she was like, they act like they're not in the Empire. But then she clarified, but... That would be, I don't know, I don't know if I buy it because I imagine that they, they're they pretty ruthless with how they recruit, you know. Like, listen, I went live and you need a phone holder from Timu and time lapse is all I will do. <laughs> I <love that. laughs> um, is it on its way to you, Jen? Oh, Lisa. Hello, darling. Yeah. Um, it's so exciting. I'm really, really fired up. So cannot already be in Prove It at all, but um. I can invite you if you are not in Prove It. Um, she said at the beginning. So Jen told us today that she went live and she, oh, she's telling it. I do tours on my lives so you can keep me company. It's like she's holding herself accountable. She's talking about what she's learning, the value that she's giving. And um, she's, she was like, she told us today on her, on the call. She's like, I just started a lot going live and folding clothes and it was really fun for me. Um, it makes the folding laundry more fun because you have people that come on and that just talk with you. So if you're scared to do social media, you get to make it what you want to make it. And by doing that, you will find your tribe. And if you don't have fun doing it, it's not like white women. Um, you don't have a tribe. Okay. 
you don't use that term. Thank you. It's not up for discussion. Don't use the word tribe. You got to figure out what's fun for you. What is fun for you to go live doing? So if you are available at 6 p.m. CST, I would love to give you the invite because I know this call will max out and you are definitely someone I want you on. I want on there. Hi, Courtney, you're live. I know how much you think about the empire and, um, you know, connecting in business with us. And so I just knew I had to send you this invite because you'd be like, Courtney, why didn't you send it to me if I didn't? So I'm going to send it over to you. It starts in like 26 minutes. Um, and... It will probably be around 20 minutes longer than there. There'll be a Q&A at the end. I think I'm not 100% sure on that. So um, I love you and I am sending you the link to jump on. So hurry up and get there if you can, because it will max out. As if she could see my hand doing that. It's fine. I didn't even tell her it was Jesse Lee. She really want to be on. There we all. Nice, silly. I'm so annoyed. You are so welcome, exclamation point. I can't wait to see you on there. Period. If you can't have your camera on, I totally understand, but feel free to turn it on so I can see your face. LOL. I was talking about cameras the other day. No worries if you can't. No worries if you can't. I know how it is with the littles. Love you. Do you? For real? Oh my God. Hey Courtney, you're on live video. Hey Courtney, you're on live video. Hey Courtney, you're on live video. You're on live video, Courtney. I'm gonna have to cut this out. Jesus, so boring. The problem is that I feel like I have people that don't have the best energy. Then you better find different people. Shalana needs me to do an Instagram training because y'all got to learn how to connect with like-minded people and get rid of the ones that don't serve you. Is there a low vibe? Well, that's Courtney, everybody. Courtney in a nutshell. Get rid of them. Just fuck them off. That's it. Out of my life. Done. She would discard you. I'm like rubbish. Ask her mother-in-law. That's what she's done to her mother-in-law. It's people who love their grandchildren and helped this young married couple out. Um, hmm. I being mute them. It works. Okay, go to their page and be like, turn off. I don't want to be notified when they make a post. I don't want to be notified when they make a story. I don't want to be notified about none of it. And you can actually go mute the person on Instagram and they don't even know. It still says you follow them, and you can be like, on. No, no, no. Mute. Why wouldn't you just unfollow them? Why, why wouldn't you block them? Oh, wow, this fucking pause. Um, why wouldn't you just block and delete? Because you don't want to cut off that prospect, I bet. You know, we've been pulling. Uh, look, I don't want to be this person. Um. Because we've already gone through the Salem witch, tri witch trials, okay? Um, Aaron B's, Bruja. I'm sorry, Karina and Clown Town, if I just did not say that in Spanish very well. But she's a witch. Um, and we've been talking a lot about tarot. I think I'm going to go and pull a card for Courtney. Uh, I'm going to press play and I'll BRB. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that she is saying mute and not block. Here we are. Mute. It's kind of like, you know, like you're on a phone call and you just hit the mute button and those people just keep talking. They don't even realize it because their energy is just so yuck. Okay, let me, Elisa, I'm going to go to you. I just realized I don't think my story posted about me inviting you guys to an opportunity that is, um, it's a call. I have an exclusive invite for you. Jesse Lee is leading it and telling more about the empire, improve it, and what we do. You cannot be improve it already, okay? You can't. Um, but you do. Surely she had already put this on her stories. Why is she do so desperately scrambling for this? Like, why, you know, us, I'm not going to speak for all anti-MLM creators, but the people I know, they get scheduled meetings. We know when they are. They, you know, like it'll be this, that, and the other. <clears throat> but they're not like this where you've got like 
there's 20 minutes to go and you have, you're still scrambling to get people to come and agree to come. That's so weird. Not, you're not obligated under any circumstances to join. It's just an information Zoom that's free for you. And it's happening in 22 minutes from the time that I post this. this. So uh, I will be sending a link out. It will max out. So you guys probably have only about 15 minutes to get the link. They're going to be like, Courtney, what you doing to me? Listen, the amount of time that I give you to do something is how long you're going to take to do it. Okay. So if you can't get on today and I invite all these people and I'm telling them about it and they're like, oh my gosh, if it would have just been tomorrow, I'd be like, guess what? It is tomorrow too. I have another one. 6 p.m. tomorrow. Let's go. So it's not really that exclusive then? Um, I don't, I haven't used this deck before. It's a, it's tattoo, tattoo tarot. And the back of the cards are so pretty. They're like normal playing cards, but they're so pretty. Oh, of course, the first one I pull. <laughs> the tower haunts me. Okay, the tower haunts me. Um, and then on the other side of the tower was Empress. I've got to send this. i got to take a picture of it and send it to Erin because she's just going to, she's going to freak out. <laughs> I'm freaking out. That's crazy. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, if you understand the meaning of exclusive access because being available every day is not exclusive. All right. I forgot to say swipe up and send me a message. What? And I just want to tell y'all, like earlier today, my energy for me, I'm about to, some of y'all are men on here. It's fine. Not really many of you. Um, but I, am, I know that I'm about to, I'm like one week out from it being my time of the month. Okay. So I know that I'm hormonal and my emotions are all over the place. And so I started to have this overload and I just started to literally journal and I journaled myself and it was like my feelings. I like, <sighs> At the very end, I started to shift, and then I was like, I got to talk to a friend. I literally got to phone a friend, and I ended up to take this to Jesse Lee. Oh, shoot. What? Why not? Oh, crap. I hope y'all didn't leave. Okay. What? Do you hope you can't take your problems to Jesse Lee, your best friend? It doesn't seem like a very fair friendship, in my opinion. Good. Look, we, we increase numbers. My girl's trying to log in to help me. On YouTube, she didn't give me the number. Okay, I'm not. I'm, if I would have waited too long, the live would have gone away. All right, Elisa, I'm really. I'm going to you now. Let me know the number, and I will have to go back in. I apologize. Period. I almost picked fifty-five too. Hi, it's me. I am back. It's me, Elisa. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> we will be doing all of the chores with you. Oh, Lisa. Okay, you're already. Are you already? Yes, Alisa. Of course, I know who you are. Okay, no, you cannot join. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, love. What was she gonna do anyway? Like. <laughs> I will see if it maxes out. And if it doesn't, I will give you the opportunity to watch. Um, but I, I really can't invite you. <laughs> I love you. Oh. But if it doesn't max out, we shall see. I might have to cut these bits. No, I, I, I want you to see how desperate she is. You know, what it all. I know, this is. and I can't wait to see you again. Ugh. It's so hollow. It means nothing. There's plenty of ways to get access to Jesse Lee. Yep. And free without joining the Empire. <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to jump off this call. So you guys need to send me a, a DM right now. Um, if you want in. As opposed to the last 28 minutes you've been talking. Like, they, if somebody was going to get it from you, wouldn't they have already done that? You know? Amanda, you're on live. Would you like an invite? Yep. 
from no me. You're on Is that what you would like? Oh. Oh. oh, hello there, darling! Exclamation point. I see you on my live. <laughs> this is. Uh, this is not an accelerator call. No, this is not. This is literally about a private opportunity. Is is your mom direct to Jesse Lee? It's in the front line chat. I thought she was. Oh my gosh, she's so freaking sweet. Little Italian thing. Yeah, it's okay to have emotion. Thank you for reminding me that. Um, I just, uh, I'll be on later for sure. Um, Why? Yeah, I will see you in 10 minutes. What? I'm so excited. I'm really fired up for all these people that are joining. Because you think you get on um, freedom. So it's literally only Jesse Lee's front line and then their leads that can get on. Um, and then I had a call at four o'clock and I did. I will do another one tomorrow at six o'clock. I don't know. Maybe I'll do four and six tomorrow. Maybe I'm feeling frisky. What do you have? Okay. So we'll see what you guys have available. Or see if any anyone else wants to get on. What are you talking about? Like, what the hell? Is it training? Is it processing? Is it outcome? What? 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 I just definitely opened up some of these things. I don't know. Get copyrighted. It's trending. Walk. 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 It's trending. Walk. You aren't. Walk. So uh, I will be going live with y'all later, giving guys some value. But right now I am about to jump on a call, inviting people to learn more about Privet and the Empire. This is exclusively for Jesse Lee's Frontline. So I have an exclusive invite for y'all to get on the call and learn about what we do and how we do it from Jessie Lee herself. So um, if you guys want that, drop me in the comments below. Yeah, it's not yet. You have, you have 14 minutes. So I actually do need to get on the call so that I am in the call. It's not ready yet, Kathleen. So it makes sense that you didn't get on yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you will need the password. So like I sent the password to y'all that I gave the invite to. So you'll, mm. you will need that. Chances are the... Oh, it is open. It's going to max out. It's going to max out. Is it going to max out? I'm live. I wonder if it's legal for me to do this. <laughs> um, I think it's totally fine for you to do it to Jessie Lee, considering she live streamed a uh, podcast interview taping by an actual real journalist and uh, podcaster, uh, she streams the whole thing without telling the podcaster. Oh, she's a scumbag. Um, so I don't think that Jesse Lee, Jesse Lee probably would get pissed off if that happened to her. But I like her energy is like night and day. She just went from, hi, yep, yeah, okay, you better come to the call. It's going to max out. It's, I'm very excited to like, Look at her. That's her drugs. Jessie Lee's her drugs. Uh, listen. Okay. Maybe I'll just go live with y'all and you won't have any sound. It's open now, Kathleen. She opened it. So she probably opened it, like, right after you tried. Or there was just no music. Jessie Lee won't be in it until, like, right at time. Uh, Sarah! You're so sweet. You would love my thoughts. Where would I direct you? You have a small team and small to moderate sales. Um, it, one second, sorry, I was responding to this message. Um, so it just depends on, thank you for jumping on, by the way. Um, I haven't even been able to follow you back yet. I am now. Actor, singer, dancer, and voiceovers. What do you... Didn't she just ask you a question and you went, now you're off on this tangent? The chaos. It's so chaotic. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sick. I'm sick. And this is making me sicker. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually cough then. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can already tell I'm going to love you. 
Wow. Um, okay, wait a second. That was actually the first um, business. I was a kidnapper. I didn't really know what I was doing. And I, as you can see, not necessarily um, fully my thing. So I was just like looking on your page, etc. cetera. Um, you want to grow your business. It's a really loaded question, but I would love to come on here and actually do what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule out a time. It seems like it's a really good time frame too. Like maybe it's uh, tomorrow at five o'clock. I can do uh, a, fa a Q and a, um, and what? I can pull people on and do like a live coaching. It's what? really more of, I, I would need to ask you more questions, Sarah, to find out uh, how do you want to grow your business? Like, where do you want to do it? And for me, the company that you're in is more of, um, it's, it's really more of an in-person, like it started off as an in-person thing and it's not like that anymore. So, um, oh my knee, um, I have a lot of thoughts around it, but, um, it's really the, the main thing that I would tell you about growing your business is be the most joyful, authentic version of yourself. So many times people forget to have fun in what they're doing. And it's not just about happiness. Like people, happiness is just this emotion. Joy is a state of being. Joy is one of the most highest vibrational frequencies that you can operate at, um, as well as gratitude. And then it goes up. To what, what does that mean? How is joy high frequency vibration? You can't measure it. Like, what do you mean? enlightenment and so it, you have to operate when you operate out of a space of joy it is like it's freedom it is feeling like it doesn't matter if people are going to judge you i had a friend of mine his name's loka and he talked about it. He's like, my friend asked me at a, at a seminar, we keep seeing each other. And he's like, look, how, how do you do this? What you're doing? Um, he asked him like, how are you something, something? And he just started blowing bubbles in his face. The guy was stone cold. Like he blew bubbles in his face. Again. Nothing happened. He started like skipping around him three times in a row. Stone cold. He like jumped on, did a move. And he was like, look, what are you doing? I don't understand. What are you doing? And he says, what are you doing? I'm just being joyful. You know, like people are going to judge you no matter what. So why not do exactly what you want to do and be the version of you that you want to be? Because so many kids out there, they allow themselves to have fun. They wake up, they want to play. They, they, at lunchtime, they'd rather play. They have to fit in time to eat. They have to fit in time to do their homework. They have to fit in the things that adults tell them to do. We have to fit in joy. And do you fit in joy every single day? Do you I would say that she probably does because um, she's really selfish. So she'll do something that's joyful for her, which is something like this. Um, Loka, I think also, he was on a Jesse Lee live. I think it's the same guy. And um, Jesse Lee even said, oh, you're going to have your own happiness convention. Uh, all of those things that that guy was doing to somebody who was most likely an introvert would be so confronting and annoying. Can you please stop blowing bubbles in my face? Can you please stop skipping around me? It's freaking me the fuck out. Like that's that's unusual behavior, especially if you're not very close to the person. Um, yeah, I don't think joy is exactly the answer because it sounds like you're trying to push uh, toxic positivity, and yeah, that's that's not it's not good to shove down in every feeling that's terrible. Yeah you should be able to be joyful with the good and the bad. But I don't think you understand that like whatsoever. Do that bring you happiness that actually fill your cup up every single day? Or have you allowed yourself to put them on the back burner and not prioritize them? Because one of the things that Joshua wrote down of something that really fills his cup up that he's not currently doing is camping. Guys, we started buying camping gear since we moved here three years ago to stock up our own camping gear. And he realized that it's actually very triggering for him. We had this conversation um, because of what it always felt like before going camping, during camping, and after camping with his family. It was like, it's a trauma response. So, um, what do you mean? You heard of What do you mean? How is it? That she did. For starters, she shouldn't be talking about it. Um, if he loves camping and has been buying camping gear, do you think that maybe he wants to go camping? But guess what? He can't do that because you can't leave anywhere that doesn't have Wi-Fi and you are constantly flying all over the world to be at Jesse Lee's beck and call. Uh, and you saying that he's got a trauma response is really disgusting because it's not your thing to talk about. And like, why should random people on the internet know about his trauma response? 
But still, she didn't explain it. What do you mean? You just said with his family. It's a trauma response. How? I don't want to know, but I'm just saying. Like she, It's like she just dropped that and walked away from it to say, ha, 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 I'm just going to lay you a little egg here and make you worry about it while I just go on my merry way. Of me? Oh, my gosh, Sarah. Sarah Bird, you must tell me more, darling. You must tell me more. You do not need, actually, you cannot be in the Empire to join, so I will send you the link. It can't be a part of Prove It. Unless you're my customer. It's the only way I would invite you if you are already a customer of mine. I'm really excited to invite you to this. So it's starting soon and you can jump on right now. <laughs> and I would really love for you to tell me more about how you heard of me um, and being new to my page. I love this so much because I often. Um, Jesse Lee was giving you shit when she was in Colombia and she did this like impersonation of you where she goes, are we going swimming? And she was jumping around like a. I don't know, like a jumping bean and, and pretending to be way over the top. And um, I also know you because you threw a suitcase at your daughter on an escalator and she got out of the way, but she felt bad for getting out of the way because you told her that she had to, she should have been um, like staying there. Yeah. Um, and what else? Oh, I do know you from um, well, your husband from when he was in the Clown Towns chat and was issuing threats to them. Legal. Legal threats, but his username also really fucking bad. So I do know you from a couple of different places there, Courtney, okay? <laughs> Miss people that follow me, and I'm really, really glad that you were able to jump on this live. Seriously. She didn't know who that is. <laughs> it really means a lot to me. For sure. So. For um, sure. Like, you're, on, you're on live, Courtney. Y'all, they're waiting. They're taking a long time to get on. We, they, there are not that many people on yet. So come on now. You all better get on this call. Get on this call so that we can max this out. Probably shouldn't say that. Not well attended. Because also, apparently, Jesse Lee had an accelerator gold uh, call and only one person got on. And she was real upset about it too. But um, you're, she already got paid for the coaching, you know. So it's not about the money. It's about the that one's pure ego, which was I thought was. I appreciate awesome. you. Yeah, and I and I don't necessarily like. Um, I also have a referral link for for Jesse Lee's uh, coaching. It's not like if you're like I love my company, I love where I'm at. I just want to, um, I just want to do more and help more people. Um, I can even guide you to what makes sense for you for you to do. Um, inside of her coaching as well, but we can totally. Uh, I will be doing. That's one of the things that somebody was telling me. They're like, you really should. Um, and I've done it a couple of times and it always brings me so much joy to be able to coach people through live, um, just asking them questions because we all have our own unique way of, of coaching and guiding people um, to, hey, Tanya Lee, I see you on the call. Where'd your face go? I saw, oh, it's not your face. It's your picture. Your camera's off. I see you on there, gorgeous. Hello, Sonia. Hey, Lisa. All right, now's the time. Now is the time if you want to get on. If you would like to be on. This is crazy because it's like removed from the live, but they're not. It is crazy. Um, please don't take, I don't really like that you're coming for Gus's bag at the, uh, using a British accent. That is Gus's thing and he's best if you don't do it again. Mm -hmm. Not, they're not still in the live. Um, Sarah, I sent you the link and because we've never messaged, I'm probably in your hidden folder. So if you're still on here, I would go to your hidden folder, um, your request folder, right there, darling, right there. The request is right above this finger. Click that button. Um, and then you will find me. Prepare to be sick of me. That's funny. Does she think that people are dumb because people know where that is? Okay. I have somebody in there. I wish they mentioned me in the story. Okay. Right. Check my other inbox. Hey, Courtney, you're on live. You're on live video at the moment. Courtney, you're live.
Oh my gosh, thank you for that. I appreciate you so much. I don't know if you are available in the next five minutes, but um, uh, we do have a Zoom where you can learn more about the business side of what we do. And I know how much you love ketones. And so um, I can't believe I didn't invite you sooner. It's just been a crazy, crazy 24 hours. So, um, why didn't you invite her half an hour ago when you were still fucking sitting there looking for the link? Oh my god, I'm so I'm so frustrated by this. <laughs> I I can't remember what I was commenting on DC's live, but I was fuming. But I wanted to get you invited to this call, and in five minutes, so if you're not able to jump on in the next twenty minutes, that's okay because I got another one for you. I got another one for you, darling. <laughs> Why are you so desperate? Why? Why aren't you pacing? Come on. And what I mean by people will judge you, people are literally judging me in my story, being grateful. Um, maybe not that. I Do you know what I do hear her say a lot? She's like, you know, even though, like, I love my family a lot, but um, you have to look after yourself first. She always does really, like, weird sort of videos like that where she puts herself first. Um, she does it a lot. Also... I am judging you because you are in a network marketing company. You're at the top. You're earning a lot of money off the backs of other people. You're not a very good like business person. You're trying to get people to come onto a meeting less than an hour before it is on. Like if people have plans, they can't get on the damn meeting. And you're saying it's exclusive, and yet you're going to have another one tomorrow. Um, it's there's so many, and you ignore your children to pack trials. You shut the door on your toddler. I didn't realize how little her baby was, and it made me really sad. Like, he he is going to remember his mother closing the door in his face. And I don't know if he will remember that, but there's going to be some affection you know, there's going to be some issues with attention because he, like the child, is begging for attention that you will not give or that you give on cert in certain circumstances. Yeah. It's very bleak, to be honest. You are judging me in my story no matter what I do. If I love on people or if I was hating on people, it wouldn't matter. They're still going to judge me. You're very welcome. There's still plenty of space. Maybe what I will do is I will put my AirPods in and so y'all won't actually be able to hear her talking about us. Why? But I will stay live. Oh, why is this AirPod dead? Oh, I don't know. Did I you really have to pee. I have to pee. It literally says that it's dead. But is it the AirPod or is it? Like I know if the case is dead, it won't connect. We shall see. I told the front line, I said, if you're not inviting people to this, you better not get on. <laughs> um, that's kind of a cunt move, really. She's laughing like it's sweet and cute. No, you're trying to be an asshole. That's what you're trying to, you're trying to do. You're trying to seem like the best person. Oh, I'm the one who got people here. Uh, and... The way she is talking at the moment, it, it's very clear that she, that Jessie Lee has given strict instructions that her training is not to be live streamed. So the fact that she fucking live streamed her interview with Jane from the Dream Podcast, scam, she is scum. She's a scumbag. Even though she's got cancer, Okay. Because do you know what? In the act of being a scumbag, the cancer doesn't really fucking matter. It has nothing to do with who she is. She knows that what she was doing was a little bit sus. Uh, that's really not even my personality. It's just a point of like, stop trying to spend so much time. I don't know what happened. I have closed all my other la apps. Yeah. Um, Something was flickering, and so here we are. Uh, that's really not even my personality. It's just a point of, like, stop trying to... It's not a... That... 
seem to be really come off of out of your mouth very easily like no one else is taunting you and you're just like you shouldn't even get on do you know what though I imagine she's heard Jesse Lee say that look at me I thought I, I ate I'm like yeah <laughs> how much time wasting time if you procrastinate and you decided that you weren't going to invite people to this call and you had 24 hours to do so, or at least, um, I got a funny story about that. At least four hours. Oh my gosh. She's such a scatterbrain. Um, why are you on their case about getting people in there when you have spent this whole hour harassing people to get on this call and you already had 10, but you need more? Why don't I believe you? But, you know, like to trash talk everyone else. Wow. Invite people to it. Then if you're not inviting people, then don't waste your time on a call that's literally about inviting leads to the opportunity. Because all you're doing is spending more time telling your family, I'm working. It doesn't make sense. You don't need to be on a call inviting leads if you didn't invite leads to it. Ooh. Uh, ring, ring. Hello. Um, it's the pot here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm um, calling to call you the kettle black. Okay. Osa? Osa? Oh, you don't think it's hypocritical? Okay, all right, no worries. Yeah, love you too. All right, bye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the absolute irony of this whole thing. Uh, because she spends her, she just spent an hour away from her family and she shooed somebody away at the beginning saying she's on live. And she then she's going to have this training call. So she'll be gone another couple of, like half an hour or so. And then she said that she might get on live again later and then tomorrow. And then, uh, is it translating into sales and recruiting for you? Because I don't think so. It's just, it's just a little bit desperate, you know. Um, don't count yourself out because you only have four hours. It's not only four hours. It's plenty of time. I really do have to go pee. <laughs> I want to connect my AirPods though so I can hear it while I go to the bathroom. Why can't you just go to the toilet right now? I do not understand this. <laughs> I'm holding it in! <laughs> uh, Why though? I got a puppy, everybody. My friends keep it fun and silly. I love it. You are in! Yes! It's I'm scary. just living rent free in their heads. It's true. It's scary. And you know what's funny is that Which all they are doing. Us? by talking bad about you is that they're getting other people because i've done this it's why i know who jesse lee is people it, not true i knew her before they talked bad about her but once they started talking bad about her i was like oh i'm gonna follow her yeah you're such a contrarian courtney fucking rebel <laughs> oh gary he's tough he's he's a little bit crazy too this boy he was leaning him he did tweeting you big sweetie. Um, you watched her. You stalked her. You parasocially built a relationship with her and then made, you know, the friendship come true because you do everything she says and you're comfortable. Kill me. Are you okay? Are you okay? He's a sweetheart. Look at this little baby. Baby. Yeah, so, you know, like, um, good for you. Uh, I, I am worried about what's going to happen if Jessie Lee passes away from her cancer. Um, It could be, I mean, you look, this is probably the one person. What I can sort of uh, compare, you know, like Charles Manson and his cult followers, they still had some people who were, you know, like quite loyal to him for a long time. Some people, as soon as they got away from him, they realized the spell they had on it. That happened with the Heaven's Gate people. That happened with Jonestown. That happened with um, Om Shanrikyo, you know, like. Scientology, 
there are people who will always, you know, follow the company line. Uh, but when they don't have that undue influence around, some of them do snap out of it. Uh, yeah, I especially I've seen it. Um, been watching lots of true crime on YouTube, and the like the pa- parents who kill their children, which is terrible. Trigger trigger warning. Uh, and quite a few of the relationships have been very abusive towards the wife, and then um, because of undue influence, they do something drastic, you know, with their child, and then when they go to prison they're away from the husband and they're like holy shit what have I done you know and they really um are able to sort of like look at their actions afterwards so I just wonder you know like what's she gonna do yeah I don't know but I hope that she's gonna do therapy that's what I hope follow her real close because you see when people talk bad about somebody it makes me wonder what's the other side of the story and then there's two sides of the story and there's the truth right in the middle I gotta go to the bathroom Okay, um, so it, what if the story is on uh, child abuse by the uh, the Catholic Church or something, hey? Um, because there's not two sides to that story. It, there's one side, the victim's side, okay? And I'm not going to hear out the other side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not going to hear that side out, okay? <sighs> yeah. Um, hmm. It's always people who sort of like excuse terrible, terrible behavior um, that I say, you know, like, oh, you need to look at both sides of the story. No, I fucking don't. I do not need to. And also just go to the fucking toilet. Like you're human. You're allowed to go to the toilet. It is a natural human thing. Even Jesse Lee starting a live would know that, wouldn't she? Oh, whoops. I went. I know who Jesse Lee is. People, it, not true. I knew her before they talked bad about her. But once they started talking bad about her, I was like, oh, I'm going to follow her. I'm going to follow her real close. Because you see, when people talk bad about somebody, it makes me wonder what's the other side of the story. And then there's two sides of the story, and there's the truth right in the middle. I got to go to the bathroom now, but if you guys want an invite to the call, it's an opportunity to learn more about what we no do. No one wants right it. Now. No one wants it. Shoot. Watch her. <laughs> I really gotta pee. I'm just gonna hold it. It's fine. It's fine. I just won't drink any more water. I'll just sweat some more so the water comes out. This is. That's not how peeing works. You do not sweat urine. I don't know who told you that, but you don't sweat urine. Okay. Um. And did you see? We'll go, have a look at this face. What is Courtney so excited about? Jesse Lee. Jesse Lee being on the fucking call. And it made her. It made her. Want to not go to the toilet anymore. Because she was just so excited that her commander, that her cult leader. Is on there and she can get. Apparently, she can stop your stop you from wanting to pee. She's so excited. It's unnatural. I really gotta pee. I'm just gonna hold it. It's fine. It's fine. I just won't drink any more water. I'll just sweat some more so the water comes out. This is not charged. In it. Why is it not? Okay. She, she wasn't ready. <laughs> Psych. Okay, I can pee. I can pee. I've never disliked someone and followed them. Because it's weird. It's weird. And also, I have seen other... Uh, I don't have to follow you uh, because you have a public profile and uh, anyone can see it, basically. I don't have to follow anyone. That don't approve and want to spread awareness and all of these different things and I don't see them hating on others yeah okay like you can be an opposite opinion
Recording in progress. La 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 written like please oh I know what it is even if I select it there I have to select it down here no one knows what you're doing because this is the video same oh I can't select airpods it needs to charge faster this was very sad days I did not know they were that dead Okay, thank you. All right, I'm going. <laughs> okay, entertain them. Entertain them. I love you. I love you. Who? What the fuck is happening? Oh my god. That's just so chaotic. Entertain them. Look at all look at all this product on the shelf. Right there. So much product. Oh. Well, there you are. All right. I said 15 seconds, but it took a little longer Recording than that. in progress. So, hello, hello, everybody. It's really good to see all of you on here. Is anyone excited to be here? Yes, no, maybe so. I'm excited to be here. Um, oh, where is everybody? So, that's the end. So, be oh, great question to know. I know it's not a great time for Europe, although I know we have a lot of European people. <laughs> Sarah is on here and said she is. I see a private message. And so, I'm not going to waste any time. I told you, give me 15, 20 minutes. And so, I want to respect your time to have this done in 15, 20 minutes. Uh, the first thing I'll say is, Thanks for being on here. Thanks for trusting whoever invited you on here. Because uh, I know it wasn't necessarily just, just me. I know Camille's got some people on here. Well, who invited you, actually? Put that in the chat that invited you. That would be a good thing to see. So I know a lot like of you it's I invited a... you, so it's good to see you on here. Um, I'll introduce myself very quickly. There will be another slide that says it, so we won't, we won't go too, too long into it. But my name is Nancy Lee. For those of you who have never met me before. Okay, I'm I love that y'all are dropping my name in the chat. Thank you. I am the leader of the Empire, which is pretty exciting. That's the team you're going to see some information about today. We are uh, the largest team in the company, Prove It, which we are all big, one big, one big happy family uh, of a team on the we've created. This is still not working. I might have are you one big happy family of a, uh, a one big happy family in Prove It, the biggest team today? Is that true? Because I don't think it is. I think. I think there's a considerable amount of people who are going to do key sciences. Big legs. Big. Sorry. If you guys want in on this and you're not in Prove It or you want my customer, I can invite you right now. The Empire is part of Prove It. Well, anyway, the no, is, is in construction mode, but anyhow, I've been with this company for almost six years, so September will be six years. Um, we have the majority of the company on our team, and I also am now the vice president of the company. So I have a She absolutely is not the vice president of the company. She's the vice president of development and team building or some shit like that. So it's pathetic. Like... It's so pathetic. Why would you lie about something that's so blatantly not true? Yeah. Unique perspective on what works, what doesn't, scaling, growing, etc. especially in international markets. Um, that does not affect my ability to build my business. I get asked that a lot. <laughs> so far, most people have said my name, except for Jesse Lee. She got a lot of people on here too. Oh, really? Um, also, the energy shift when she was getting... That's her that's her adrenaline, that's her serotonin right there, is getting credit in that chat. That's it. She, that's the only thing that makes her happy. That's really sad. Even further faster. And so I know there's a lot of leaders of other companies that um, are on this call that have, that have asked to be invited to it. So welcome. That's exciting too. Um, it's good to see you on here. And uh, that's about that. I don't want to waste any more time about me. I'm sure I'll talk more about myself in a minute here. But okay. I think, oh, Turning the button. Josh, down. Jesse, Lee. <laughs> Uh, hey Stephanie, will you do me a favor? Will you make yourself um will you make keep yourself host and share the share the slideshow? Can you hear a baby crying in the background? Because I can. She hasn't even hang on, I'll have a look. See if she she, she Shows any any acknowledgement that she can hear that. Will you make keep yourself host and share the share the slideshow? I want to be here. I haven't done a lot to do it. I'll just talk through it. That would be awesome. Uh, <laughs> I have a new iMac and I have a hidden Zoom ability to, to share. This happened last week on a on a coaching call I was on. So so uh, I'll keep talking. I'll keep watching. You know what? This is what we work. This is what we work for. So so. 
Uh, like I said, you are looking at the empire. That is the uh, that is our keeper. Not a thing. Not even a blink or a, a glance in any direction other than the screen while her child is crying in the background. Courtney, you're on live video. a product that you love and you want to share it out with the world affiliate links are everywhere now you get paid a lot more when you join a company versus just affiliate um where is well, i mean your income disclosure i don't even know if that one sorry but income disclosure sheets definitely disprove that it's almost like she's glazed over you know like i was like <gasps> oh what is happening Hey, Courtney, you're in live video right now. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why don't you just turn the fucking live video off? Go and spend time with your kids and your husband. For God's sake. It was me that edited it. <laughs> A minute and a half to go. I don't think you're going to change much from here, but I'm just, I'm disgusted. What a waste of time. Next. Why is there a gap between these words? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're not going to talk formatting now, are we? Really? Really? Now we're talking about the format of things? Now? Such a weird. We did not invite everyone in the world. So if you're on the invite, let me know. I'm going to get off here now and I'm going to focus on the call and those people who showed up on the call. I also won't be saving this, so I'll be back with y'all in about an hour or so. Why? Why will you be back in an hour? Why? That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? What's happening? infuriating it's so infuriating like what what is your deal like how can you do this and it just seems illogical to me that someone would act like this you know they are so like hooked into the jesse lee ward machine that they can't see anything else and they can't do anything else except for what they are told by that leader. It's unhealthy. It's, you know, and like I said, like what's going to happen when Jessie Lee dies? You know, so much of her self-worth is tied into that. Um, I hope she's saving some of the money that she is getting at the moment because that's not going to last without Jessie Lee. And in fact, it's probably going to drop now because of the legs that they're losing. God damn. And... I don't like children, like babies. I'm, I'm not a baby person. You know, like some people like baby people. I like, I can't do it. I don't, I don't want to touch a baby. Maybe, like a puppy, definitely. But, you know, like I'm just not a baby person. That's fine. But that kid crying, oh, it made me really sad. Yeah, like the dad was there. But it just, it was sad. And it's, I know for a fact that it's not the only time that that child has cried and been ignored by his mother. You can't get that time back, Courtney, and I hope you realise it before you lose it all.
because they deserve better. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, have a good one, everybody. We're roasting on Sunday. It's Boss Bay Bingo, so we're going to do some top fails. And we're looking at another um, we. Who am I speaking for right now? Uh, we're going to do a live with DC on Thursday. I think American Thursday, my Friday. And we got some deep cuts from Optavia. Uh, we got a Zoom call from 2009. Uh, yeah, so that should be really interesting. It's only short, so we'll probably watch something else. Um, but it was interesting to find. Yeah, um, still really trying to hit the goal of a thousand. <laughs> and look, it's fine. <laughs> I've always told everybody, like, do you, know, do you know what the perfect amount of subscribers is? However many I have, because I appreciate them. Okay, um, I will see you next time, okay? Yeah. Hopefully everything's looking a bit neater back there. There you are. Goodbye.